What's up, YouTube? I'm Brett from Rants R Us. As always, guys, if y'all enjoy our content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. We're on the road to 1,000, and we hope you guys will help us get there. Alright, so it looks like another Star Wars alum, or prequel alum, um, is, is on board with the Disney Plus uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi series. It's going to be directed by Deborah Chow. Um, of course, we don't have many details on this, but we already know, of course, Ewan McGregor will be reprising his role as Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um, and now it looks like Liam Neeson is open to a Qui-Gon Jinn cameo in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Uh, this is really exciting. Very exciting. Very exciting. For those that don't know who Qui-Gon Jinn is, Qui-Gon Jinn was the, uh, he was the master of Obi-Wan Kenobi. It was his death at the hands of Darth Maul that really set into motion uh, everything that happened during the prequel trilogy and basically all of Star Wars of movie, you know, regarding the movies, let's just put it that way. At least when it comes to Anakin Skywalker. Now Dave Filoni had a really good take and he supposedly got his take from uh, um, from uh, George Lucas on this and he was doing an interview and I can't remember who the interview was with but he said that the Darth Maul fight with uh, Qui-Gon Jinn in the Phantom Menace was actually one of the more important events that uh, took place during all of Star Wars and his reasoning behind that was that the death of Qui-Gon Jinn who was a father figure to Anakin Skywalker, his death uh, placed young Anakin in the hands of Obi-Wan Kenobi, who presented himself more as a brother figure than a father figure to Anakin, something that Anakin needed uh, drastically in his life. And of course, you know, this is backed up by, of course, you know, um, uh, in the in the words of Obi-Wan Kenobi when he says Anakin you are like a brother to me uh, after their duel on Mustafar so that actually to me I remember hearing that Dave Filoni interview and just going mind blown mind blown because man how would that have changed Anakin Skywalker um, probably would have never turned into uh, Darth Vader probably would have never had the problems that he had with uh, the order I mean it could have changed everything as we know it but we'll save that for another video let's read a little bit about uh, what's going on with this and where this news is coming from Liam Neeson recently said during a video interview with Collider that he would love to return as Qui-Gon Jinn in the series, if possible. I'll be honest with you, I haven't heard that at all, Neeson confessed when asked about the series, but he was more than game to reprise his role. Sure, I'd be up for that, yeah. Alright, so, you know, when it comes to, um, uh, when it comes to this, it, it wouldn't shock me, it would not shock me, if there is a cameo appearance in this. I'm actually expecting a lot of cameo appearances in this. Of course, the, the thing that everybody's hooked on when it comes to this series is there is going to be a, um, a really a Darth Vader, Obi-Wan Kenobi fight somewhere in the middle of this or somewhere in this series. Um, and that's why it's got everybody really excited about this series. I don't know how that works necessarily in Canaan, but I will say uh, it's going to it's going to change a lot of things for Star Wars. But do not be shocked if you see a lot of nostalgic moments in um, this upcoming uh, series. It's going to be kind of like the Mandalorian. Uh, the Mandalorian season two was amazing. It was amazing, amazing series. But the one thing that it did have that did kind of irk me a little bit is it has a really strong thing about um, about nostalgia mixed in with promotion for upcoming shows. That's kind of what I think is going to be happening with uh, the new Obi-Wan series is we're going to have promotion of other shows, but we're also going to have a heavy, heavy dose of nostalgia. 
So it would not shock me if Liam Neeson reprises his role. Or if we see, you know, Darth Maul or any of these characters. Of course, we are going to see Hayden Christensen as, um, as Darth Vader uh, show up. I don't know how that's going to exactly work. But we are going to be seeing him in this Obi-Wan Kenobi series. So overall, I mean, it is going to be epic in a lot of ways. And by epic, I mean um, how much budget this show is going to have and the characters that they're going to bring back from the movies. Uh, they're not just going to make references to them. They're going to show these characters. And, you know, if you're getting these big-name characters, uh, I wouldn't be almost shocked to see, and this is just speculation on my part, I would not be shocked to see maybe Mace Windu reappearing on this show i know a lot of people think he's dead but i would not be shocked if we see uh, a mace windu character appearing uh on this show i am truly truly excited about it i think this is going to be uh, a epic hit for uh, for um disney plus but i'm glad i'll be excited to see obi-wan kenobi and uh, Qui-Gon Jinn may be back together again in some form or fashion. Probably going to be Qui-Gon Jinn as a Force ghost. Uh, but we'll just have to see. Uh, you know, we did get to see Qui-Gon Jinn as a Force ghost in the Clone Wars. And so, um, would not shock me. Would not shock me if if we get to see that. I just would. I just want to know on what planet, on what circumstance... Would he be reconnecting with his old master? And if maybe it was this reconnection that helped him understand his mission in taking care of a young Luke Skywalker on Tatooine. That actually might be the, uh, the thing that causes uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi to understand and take his mission so seriously as what he did when it comes to Luke Skywalker. Understand this, uh, the... Uh, significance of protecting Luke Skywalker uh, but you know we'll just have to see I think it's going to play a big uh, a major major role in this I would be excited to see uh, Liam Neeson as Qui-Gon Jinn and, uh, and Ewan McGregor as Obi-Wan Kenobi reunited again as Master and Padawan um, it's going to be it's almost going to it's going to be cool you're going to see Master Padawan and then you're going to see Anakin Skywalker. So you're going to see like three, diff three different generations of, uh, of, of these Jedis. And that's going to be awesome. I cannot wait. Cannot wait uh, for this. But let me know in the comments what y'all think of this news. Will are y'all excited to see maybe Liam Neeson reprising his role as Qui-Gon Jinn? Or would you rather him just be left out of the series in general? Of course, in the last few years, Liam Neeson has found himself in a lot of uh, unpolitically correct situations. Uh, so a lot there's going to be a lot of people on Twitter that are not going to be excited to see Liam Neeson returning as Qui-Gon Jinn. And so there's going to be some controversy to it, guys. So, you know, just come to expect it. But overall, guys, let me know what y'all think. And as always, thanks for watching. And y'all take